Awards, Lifetime Achievement Award, say that fast few times, to Mr. Wayne Riker. Please stand, please clap along. It took me about 50 years, 52 years to get here, so it's going to take about four minutes, so bear with me. Uh, hang in there, Gilbert. Uh, I still want to make sure that this is really true, so I'm going to open the envelope here to make sure that I really am the recipient, so just bear with me. Uh, the winner is Emma Stone, La La Land. No, no, sorry. Wayne Riker, okay. So this will be about four minutes and I'll try to make it quick so we get on with the celebration here. Um, first of all, I'd like to acknowledge, once again, like was done earlier, Kevin Hellman, who, by the way, has done this for 35 years. 35 years. Given a little San Diego history here, he started it in 19... 82 was called the Entertainer Awards up in uh, North County, and he did that from 1982 to 1990, and it was held at the La Paloma Theater. I played there as with Stone Throw in 1985, uh, and then Kevin started the San Diego Music Awards in 1991. So he's been doing it for 35 years, and he also has resurrected this award. Ladies and gentlemen, Kevin Hellman, thank you for resuscitating the awards. Um, the award I'm receiving tonight is called the Country Dick Montana Award. And uh, I only met him one time. It was a month before he passed in 1995. And I sat in on guitar, on Joey Harris's guitar, for half a set at a place called Winston's East in Santee. And uh, I took a, we took a break and I spent a half hour sharing a pitcher of beer with Country Dick Montana. And we talked about the philosophy of life and gig horror stories. And uh, fortunately, he passed a month away, so I only knew him for that one half hour, but it was a very uh, meaningful half hour. He was a wonderful guy, and I'm honored to get this award in his name. Uh, there's so many people I see out here that are equally deserving, and it could have been one of about two dozen other people to get this award tonight. And I have highly respect for them, and there's gonna be a lot more people coming up in this great city uh, to receive this honor in the future. Um, the first award was given to Malcolm Falk in 1994, who was the real catalyst at the Belly Up. Uh, another person who died way too young, but he was responsible for really getting all the great bands into the Belly Up. He had a recording studio on back of the stage in the early 80s called uh, the Third Ear Blind, uh, Blind Recording Studio. And we did a recording there. Uh, he was a wonderful man. He's the first recipient in 1994. The last recipient was my good friend and fellow guitar teacher Peter Sprague from last year. Um, yeah, and I'm honored to join others, Mike Wolford, Mundell Lowe, all the way to Iron Butterfly and the Penetrators. Um, a wonderful representation and this tradition will continue. Um, my family's here tonight. My son Trent, my daughter Tara, uh, my brother Don and my brother Walt stand up. He's been the encouraging voice on my musical journey ever since we shared our bedroom in the, uh, in the Bronx. Um, so in chronological order, I'll take you through all the people that are responsible for me standing here tonight. The first one are the Beatles. They were a group out of uh, England. I don't know if you ever heard of them. Uh, they inspired a whole generation, as I did in 1964, to go down and buy instruments and start playing. And a lot of us turned the hobby into a profession. Uh, Diane Grody was lived in my apartment building in the Bronx. He was a 13-year-old guitar footer kind. The kid was a virtuoso at 13. And uh, in the summer of 1966, he took me under his wing, gave me seven guitar lessons for uh, one hour for one dollar. And I wish he were standing here today. 
uh, and unfortunately he can't be here, but I, I owe a lot to him. He started me on this musical journey. Uh, Dr. Unicio Violi, who as a senior in college, talked me out of going to grad school and said, you need to play in bands. And I can't thank him enough for pointing me in that direction and uh, giving me that validation. Uh, Alan Alford and Mark Sussman were two bandmates in New York City that kicked my ass, taught me more about playing all different musical styles and all about the business and how to do it right. If it wasn't for those two guys, I wouldn't be standing here tonight. Um, I took a year off in 1978-1979 to attend the Guitar, Student, uh, Guitar Institute of Technology in Hollywood um, that Pat Hicks started. Uh, and I was in one of the first classes there. Uh, thank you to the guitar teachers that helped me understand all the things musically I couldn't do at the time. Howard Roberts, Ron Eshday, Joe DiOrio, Howard Alden, Pat Martino, Don Bach, and especially Les Wise, who were just great mentors for that one year. Uh, when I got here in San Diego in 1980, three band leaders taught a 31-year-old kid on guitar how to bounce around the stage in your late 60s. These gentlemen are all gone now, but I, they gave me so much inspiration playing club dates. Frank Nelson, Bob McEwen, and Milt Rayner. Uh, to my good friends at the San Diego Repertory Theater, who believed and trusted me to be the guitar chair at the San Diego Rep, Sam Woodhouse and Bill Doyle, who took me as a 40-year-old rookie in musical theater and elevated me to doing musical conducting and directing. Uh, Vicki Cottle, the owner of the New Expression Music Store, I taught for 30 years. Thank you for hiring me and trusting in me. Dave Smoliver and Brian Murray, the two guitar administrators at the guitar workshops I do in the summer. Thank you for believing and trusting in me. Dr. Bob Gillingham, uh, who's the headmaster at Francis Parker Lower School, who believed and trusted me in starting a guitar program there. Dr. Neil McCurdy, 2012, where I started a guitar program at Coleman Tech High School. Thank you for trusting me in doing that. Uh, Nat Gounod, my publisher for my instructional books, thank you for trusting and believing in what I could do. Uh, Jude Gold and Andy Ellis, my instructional column, editors of Guitar Player Magazine, thank you for trusting and believing me. Dave Hamburger in Acoustic Guitar Magazine, for once again, uh, my editor, Thank you for trusting me. Um, there are four people who are now gone that I'd like to acknowledge. Uh, two very special bandmates that were brothers from another mother, uh, Dave English and Minnie Brown. Um, they were like brothers to me and I miss them terribly. And also my mom and dad, I wish they could be here tonight. And finally, congratulations to all the nominees. All the people that play music. And remember, I know how everyone's musical persona is critical to them. But no matter what your successes or disappointments are, remember that the only thing that really counts is family, good friends, and optimum good health. Because without that, you can't do it all. And finally, remember this. That the sound of applause for your musical accomplishments and recognition resounds equally whether it's your first open mic or at a club on a Monday night with three people left or standing up here getting an award. The, the applause is the same and it makes us all feel good no matter what level it's at. Thank you very much and enjoy the rest of the evening. Oh, and one more thing. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the musical mayor of New York City. I love this guy to death. Bart Mendoza, please give him a round of applause. And the great mouthpiece. Also, Catherine Beeks and Dave Good. Thank you for the media coverage you've given me. But Bart Mendoza, the musical mayor, thank you. Lifetime Achievement Award winner, Wayne Riker, everybody. Thank you, Wayne. All right, now time to present the award for Best Country or Americana.